Hi guys, I just got back from a trip to Ikea and I'm here to share with you today my picks for the worst products at Ikea. Now in my last video, I shared my picks for my favorite products at Ikea, but every store has its good and its bad. So today, it's all about the bad products at Ikea that I wouldn't recommend buying. Now for pick number one, I'm gonna go with light fixtures. Now some of the light fixtures at Ikea are really cute, but a lot of them look like they're hanging from an extension cord. So my beef with the light fixtures is that they're hanging from these flimsy looking cords that look like an extension cord that you would have out in your garage. If Ikea would wrap those cords in a nice looking chain that matched the wiring or um, partial down rod, something that sort of hid that wiring out of the way, it would look so much better. Now I will say I do make exceptions for certain light fixtures. I love this one, even though it has that white plastic wrapped wire hanging from it. It's a kid's bedroom light fixture, so it's not supposed to be fancy. I don't wanna see those wires in my kitchen where I'm supposed to have a, light, a high end light. All right, number two on the list is the cheap pillow fillers that you find all over the store. It seems like a great deal on a product, but those fillers are just too small for the standard size pillows and they collapse pretty easily. So once you sit against it, once somebody puts their body weight against it, it's not a supportive pillow. You realize that the pillow is mostly air in between all of the fiber and it's gonna look terrible most of the time unless you spend your whole day fluffing pillows. Okay, let's move on to number three. Let's talk about the couches at Ikea. Some of them are cute, some of them are good deals, but look at the price on this couch. It is way overpriced. The cover doesn't really fit right. Whenever you buy these things, you, you're constantly adjusting the cover, trying to get it to fit right. So I strongly suggest going to the furniture stores near your house, pr check out a few different locations. You'll find much better deals price-wise on large couches, overstuffed, whatever kind of fabric that you're looking for, whatever color you're looking for at the furniture stores. You won't have to f worry about all of these baggy, ill-fitting covers that you have to buy for the couches at Ikea, and the prices will be the same or better at the furniture stores for full-size, normal, American-size couches. Okay, let's move to the kitchen now for number three, and that is certain faucets at Ikea. So some of them are cute. I'm not saying that they're all bad, but check out this faucet that looks like it's wrapped with a garden hose. So that's a $170 faucet with a garden hose attached to it, so I'm not a fan. You can definitely find better deals at your local kitchen supply store or Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, with the same sort of pull-down functionality as that faucet, but without the garden hose look. All right, number five, appliances at Ikea. Again, some of them are great, I'm sure, but I want you to be careful if you're gonna buy appliances from Ikea, make sure that they're the right size. So a lot of the appliances that they have available are smaller sized options like you would find in Europe or the UK. So just make sure that you're buying the right size for your home and you wanna make sure that if you're getting a, an oven or a refrigerator that it's gonna hold all of the things that we normally want them to hold in the US. So again, this is an expensive purchase. So be sure that you compare the appliances at Ikea to Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever stores are near you. Check the reviews, check the complaints about getting repairs, how easy it is to get repairs, and also check on those warranties. So make a good decision when you're spending this kind of money. Don't just assume that Ikea has the best deal because they're known for having good deals. Okay, let's move on to number six, and that is particle board and fiber board furniture. So I am not a fan of this ready to go cheap furniture. It does fall apart super fast. So I know when you're broke and you're young, you get really excited and you buy a lot of this cheap furniture and you think, oh, I'm gonna furnish all of my apartment for $500. But that stuff falls apart so fast. You can't put any liquids on it. As soon as it gets in between any of that laminate, it's gonna start swelling and bulging inside of most of that furniture is layers of cardboard it's just made to go into a dumpster so avoid it skip it so the furniture that i like at ikea is the furniture that's made with metal or real wood generally they're pretty good give anything that you're going to buy from ikea a little bit of a shake test push on it and see if you can get it to wobble if it's wobbling already in the store it's going to wobble when you get home and it's not going to last so again, like this Billy bookcase here, it's notorious online for bad reviews for falling apart qu pretty quickly. So just check the reviews, look for real wood if you can, or the metal furniture that's pretty stable. Check my video for the furniture that I really like. There are some good deals there. 
All right, number seven on my list of the worst Ikea products is overpriced rugs. So this rug is really stylish. I'm not gonna lie, I love the look of this rug, but it's only five by eight and it's super expensive. You can find much better deals. Look at that, $300. You can find much better deals on Amazon. I buy my rugs from Amazon all the time. I generally find great deals on eight by 10 rugs on Amazon from well-known stores for about $200 or even less sometimes. So again, shop around. This is another super cute rug that I love, but it's five by eight and overpriced compared to what I'm usually buying from my home. So shop around for deals. Okay, number eight on the list is the sleeper sofas and the couches that they sell at Ikea with zero cushion on it. I don't get it. That two inch thick cushion isn't comfortable as a couch, so it's definitely not gonna be comfortable as a bed. So think about that. You will be saving money, but you won't be comfortable and you'll wanna replace it. I remember when I was in college and I saw my first sleeper sofa and I thought it was the coolest idea in the world until I actually slept on the thing and the mattress was terrible and it wasn't actually comfortable as a couch either. So if you're looking for a deal on a couch that converts also into a bed, I honestly just think buy a twin mattress, stack a bunch of pillows on it like on this bed here and you're gonna have the best of both worlds. Something that works like a couch during the day and a bed at night that is actually comfortable. And while we're talking about comfortable mattresses, let's talk about Ikea mattresses for number nine. Look at the way that elastic wrapped around the corner on all of these mattresses compresses that mattress too much. I have yet to find a comfortable Ikea mattress. So again, I think go to your local mattress stores, shop around. I recently just bought a new king size mattress. Of course, the first thing that a man or the salesman showed me was something for $2,000. And I said, no, we were looking for something much cheaper than that. We left with a $700 king size mattress that is super comfortable and well-made by, I think, Serta or some well-known maker in the US. So shop around for mattresses. Don't get something that is so thin that you're never gonna have a comfortable night's sleep on it just because it's cheap. Last but not least is the tool line that they have at Ikea. That drill there is a plug-in drill, so that limits itself already, but it also doesn't have as much power or strength as a normal 18-volt cordless drill. So I recommend spending the $70 on a cordless drill that's gonna last you 15, 20 years instead of this Ikea line. And the kit that has the hammer, the wrench, the pliers, all of that, those tools are smaller than you would find at a normal store. It feels like using children's tools. So get the real deal at your local hardware store. You'll, that'll last you much longer. You'll thank me for it. That's it for this list, guys. Be sure to check out my list of my favorites at Ikea. It's even longer than this list of the bads, and there are some really cute deals there. So go check out that video. I'll put a link above and in the description below. Thanks, guys.